Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. Today I am working on a final project for my office. We're gonna do something with this pillow. Stay tuned. As you may know, I have been working on an office makeover as part of the Frog Tape Paint Over Challenge, and I need some decorative items. My budget is a little bit thin at this point in the process, and I'm trying to figure out a way to make this pillow fit what I need. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by taping off a pattern. This pattern could be anything. I would like mine to be fairly graphic and symmetrical, but there's no reason that you can't just go crazy with the tape. This will stick to anything. And again, the edges are gonna be perfectly crisp and clean. So here's the pattern that I'm thinking of. This. I've already started, but I wasn't paying attention. I actually think that I would like the paint to be where the tape is. So what I am doing now is I am going back over the pillow and I am making the inverse. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully you are tracking. One of the things that I try to do whenever I am working with painter's tape is I try to use the tape itself to help me measure. So in this situation, notice that I have used one tape width to mark the edge of the pillow to this first square, and then I'm using another width of tape to measure the square on the inside. There's no reason that I couldn't pick out a ruler and measure this if I wanted to change those dimensions, but for me, it just makes it easier, and it means that I don't have any sort of lines that are off parallel. One of my hacks when I am doing a right angle is I bring the tape all the way to the edge and I mark where the corner is. And then instead of worrying about trimming that edge perfectly at the right angle, I actually cut it slightly inside so that that tip is gonna be on the corner, and then I'm gonna come in with the second strip of tape and create the right angle that way. I am using regular old latex paint to paint this pillow. In fact, this is the exact paint that I used on the walls and on the furniture in here, so I knew that it would be the same color. I am gonna mix a little bit of fabric medium in the paint, and even though I'm not gonna launder this pillow and I'm not gonna be wearing it, I do think that a little bit of fabric medium will help that paint just adhere to the fabric and look a little bit more natural. Sometimes when you put paint on top of fabric, it can look a little bit stiff, so that is the point of fabric medium. Um, I've already mixed that up here, so hopefully that will do the trick. Before you start, you wanna make sure that you put a little something inside your pillowcase just to protect from any paint bleed through. So I just grabbed some scrap paper that I had on hand. I'm going to tuck this in. I'm gonna go back over one more time and just make sure that all those edges look like they're in pretty good shape. The key to having a good result when stenciling is that you never want your brush or your sponge to be too saturated with paint. You wanna make sure that you always have sort of a light bit of paint on the edge, because if it's too heavy, it will bleed under the tape lines. So I'm gonna dip it in to my paint. I'm gonna wipe off any excess, and I actually make sure I stamp it first just so it's not dripping. And then you also wanna make sure that you go straight down on top of the stencil. If you're coming at it from the side, that can also lead to bleed through. I prefer a sponge like this when I'm stenciling. It just means that I can come straight down onto my work surface. And again, if you're going straight down onto the surface, you're gonna reduce your risk of having any paint bleeding through under the tape. I'm gonna let this paint set up for, I don't know, maybe five or 10 minutes. I'm gonna go rinse my brush and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pull that tape off. 
One of the reasons that I wait just a minute to pull it off is that sometimes if the paint on the tape is still really wet, it makes it easier to smudge, but we're gonna go for it. Guys, can you believe how crisp that edge is? I am using paint and tape on fabric, and that is perfect. I love the way this pillow turned out. I was looking for an inexpensive way to take a plain pink pillow and somehow update it for 20 minutes of work, a few pieces of tape, a little bit of leftover paint. I love the way this pillow looks. It's the tiniest little bit of pattern. It picks up the shapes on the wall. It picks up the color on the wall. It's exactly what I needed to update this chair. Perfect. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Another really easy, really effective makeover. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day.